pretend like it wasn't because I'm surrounded in my life by so many mentors and godly mentors. Well, you've got mother and hello? sister who are recording hello? artists. I know. And here you are. I know. I know. Yeah. And so I just, I, you know what? I dealt with so many insecurities. I didn't think I was good enough. I didn't like the sound of my own voice. Mm. But the key is it wasn't my voice. It was God's voice among me, in me. Mm. And I just, I'm just very excited and um, I'm starting to grab a hold of those gifts that God has given me and wear them and walk in them and walk in His grace. And it's funny when you do that, it opens up opportunities that you would have never imagined or dreamed for yourself. It's a great encouragement yeah. for many hopefuls, yes. mm -hmm. many who are dreaming mm -hmm. that, uh, well, like it says in Ecclesiastes, He has made everything beautiful. Right in its time, if we'll be patient, mm -hmm. if we'll trust that our dreams are safe with God, yes. right. aren't Absolutely. they? Even right. the broken dreams. Yes. He makes something beautiful and some people think, well, that's just a cliche. No, right. it's not. It's reality. His grace is amazing and it's too lengthy to go into it, but if people would stop and think about all the traces of God's grace up to the point of their trouble or their pain or their difficulty, they would see an amazing love path mm. from God. And that's what I saw as we looked back over what happened, what occurred before we lost Trent, the ways that God brought people to us, encouraging words, just wonderful things to prepare us. And mm. we didn't even realize we were being prepared for I think was the most difficult thing I've ever faced in my life. Mm -hmm. But His grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. And now through church weekly, I don't know how you managed to show up there, Judy, but... Oh, I'm loving it. You I love and it. your husband are pastoring. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. And you're both traveling and singing and bringing this message of hope. Do you get to sing together very often? Not I enough. try to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> she does. I, I, I really do try as much and seize those opportunities to be with my mom because time, we, time is fleeting. We don't know how much time we have and we need to enjoy one another. They are, she's a miracle for me. You know, mm. she, her relationship with me, our relationship, we need to value each other. We can't, we can tell it's not really very close <laughs> here. You just can. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad we have this opportunity. We made mm. an opportunity for Thank the two you. of you. Thank you. To Thank sing you together. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I hope you don't wait a decade to come back. Well, I hope not either. It's but been so fun to see everybody. Oh, uh, it's just, just great. Too short. Uh, I want just to remind folks, uh, LOL, the mm -hmm. first, I, this is still cooking. Mm -hmm. A third hit single mm -hmm. from yeah. Laugh Out Loud and, and hot off the press, Truth and Love and... Um, Great, great message. You're a great songwriter. Oh, thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Mm. Thank I'm you. gonna let you two go and get ready okay. to sing for us. I can hardly wait. And uh, while you're heading over, uh, today's uh, Toronto Star says last week they issued a Twitter challenge, express the meaning of life in less than 140 characters. The response was overwhelming. Every few minutes we receive another tweet uh, the very first sampling of many here. The meaning of life is, life is a tragedy for those who feel and a comedy for those who think. Egypt. Uh, hmm. We live in a troubled world. We have an unstable economy, unpredictable weather. But what do you know for sure today? Isaiah 33 verse 5 in the Message Translation says, God is supremely esteemed. His center holds. I brought this picture from home. This is, um, I like to think of this as the Lion of Judah, Jesus. And you see that pillar? It is stable. It is unshakable. It is a sure foundation. That's what this says to me. And in that chapter in Isaiah, the very next verse makes this promise. God keeps your days stable and secure. Salvation, wisdom, and knowledge in surplus. I hope you're living in that confidence today. Judy Buffum and Virginia Hill know that when your world is shaken, 
His center holds, and he keeps you stable and secure. Mother and daughter are going to sing what they know for sure. Judy and